Hello and welcome back to our refactoring of Martin Fowler's simple movie rental system. Throughout the last episodes we already accomplished quite something. We broke down the customer class from originally I think about 60 or 65 lines to merely 40 lines with a very short statement method. And therefore we moved some logic over to the rental class where we found out that it actually belongs. And we even refactored that logic a bit to convey its actual meaning. In this episode I'm going to start a refactoring that Martin Fowler calls replace temp with query. His ratio behind applying this refactoring in our situation is that temp variables like the total amount and the total frequent renter points uh, here in our statement method are only valuable or only usable within one method. So uh, when you have them you're kind of inclined to write longer methods. So what he proposes for us to do is replace these temp variables by actual query methods so that we can reuse the query method in whichever context independent uh, of the local method here. And if you remember our original idea to add a second statement method that could produce HTML output instead of plain text output, this is exactly what we want to do. We want to reuse the computation of the total amount and of the total frequent rent points in this other method without duplicating any logic. So, okay. Um, Let's start this thing by extracting the total amount computation from this method. First, just to make sure, I'm going to re-execute my test suite. Okay, everything still works and I can get started. As total amount is modified within this loop here, I am going to extract the computation of uh, the total amount from this method, which means I have to duplicate the loop. And what I like to do is duplicate this loop uh, within the original method and then do an extract method refactoring to actually get it out. So we loop over all the rentals and we want to have just the total amount computation. So we want to have just this line here, which is the only one that modifies uh, the total amount. Then I want to move this line to down here because it's also needed for the comp uh, computation of total amount and I want to remove this line from here. This should be a change completely transparent to our tests which I'm going to quickly prove by executing the tests. Yes it is. And what I'm going to do now is extract this one here, this small code block, to a method which I'm going to call get total charge. And Next thing, since this variable still exists, the, the temp variable and its use only once, I can obviously inline this call to the getTotalCharge method at this point. Okay, so now let's do the same thing to get rid of our total frequent points local method. So again, I'm going to uh, copy this logic here. I'm going to remove from the loop everything that's unrelated to the computation of uh, the frequent rental points. I'm going to move this temp variable to down here, remove it from the original loop, quick save and re-execute tests to see if everything still works. It does fine, so we can apply the uh, extract method refactoring and say get total frequent rental points. And then again a quick inlining of this call so we have it down here and don't need it anywhere else. Okay, so this was easy enough. Uh, next thing Martin does in his refactoring is rename these uh, locals here to result which um, makes sense because it's a result that is computed within here but I actually think that it's a matter of taste and I like to uh, give these variables the name of what is actually computed here so don't use the generic result but use something like total frequent rental points which is perfectly fine up here but if I look down here I still have uh, the name of total amount 
which is actually not what is computed here. So I'm quickly going to change this one to compute uh, to say total charge because that's what actually computed in this method. And uh, something I personally like to do because I like um, Uncle Bob's idea of the newsletter style which he presents in clean code is uh, move this method up here uh, simply because get total charge is used in the statement method before get, get total frequent renter point is used so I like to have it up here. This is not always possible to get this newsletter style where you can theoretically read from top to bottom but uh, whenever I see it possible to do that I do it because it helps me uh, read the code and get the idea faster. Okay, I think it's time to reflect a bit about what we just did. Because actually this refactoring was a little weird. For example, if we look at the number of lines, uh, after I proudly told you that we brought it down from 60 to around 40, we can see now that we actually brought the number of lines up again to around 50. So this is a refactoring that actually introduced a lot of lines. And this is mainly because uh, the four loops use up quite uh, some space. The four syntax in Java is still a little verbose, even though it's better than it was at uh, the time Martin Fowler wrote his book, because uh, there he still needed seven lines to do essentially the same, where I need only five now, but still five lines is a lot. Another thing that uh, many people would say about this refactoring is that it might impact performance because I actually uh, I, I copied over the loop so the loop is now executed three times instead of one times and I'm pretty sure that many developers would not do that refactoring simply because of that reason. But uh, from my experience and uh, also from Martin's uh, apparently, implementing with performance in mind is kind of a dangerous thing because usually the bottlenecks, uh, the real bottlenecks tend to pop up somewhere where you did not expect them at all. So um, to reduce the number of uh, for loop repetitions in a Java program just for the sake of performance, um, when it actually endangers the, the code style is kind of a a uh, not so nice thing to do because it really needs a lot of repetitions till for a loop execution really impacts performance and uh, then you could still go about it with some caching logic or something uh, to get rid of that and you could easily do that because you have the logic separated and you can uh, introduce some caching without impacting other parts of the code. The, the advantage actually of the code we have now is that we can reuse our queries here to implement another kind of statement output for example without the need to copy around any of the computation logic. So we can simply um, admittedly copy that here over and say HTML statement and then insert some text with a snap. So here it is and as you can see I just inserted a couple of tags and formatting stuff here so I changed a lot of things and I could easily reuse our uh, query methods here without the need to duplicate any of the computation logic. Of course there's still some duplication and we could go down that road uh, do, applying other refactorings like introducing template methods to get rid of this uh, uh, repeated computation of header lines of these uh, figures for, the, for each movie and this uh, footer lines here but we're not going to do that in this refactoring part. But go down another road following Martin in his example on refactoring. One thing I actually realized while uh, I was formatting this HTML statement method here is that there's uh, some unnecessary code here in our class which is uh, this string value of computations. I'm pretty sure that I can get rid of those um, I copied them over from the refactoring book. Maybe they were necessary in Java 1.1 to get that formatted, but I'm pretty sure they're not necessary in Java 7. So let me just remove them and quickly re-execute our tests. And yeah, as I expected, they're not necessary, so we can reduce the amount of code. 
And since I copied that over here, I can remove it down here also. Let me just quickly do that. So we don't carry too much technical depth around with us. And maybe we come back later to these two methods and see how we can extract the repeated computation that's still in here. Okay, this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. I'm always happy to improve on your feedback. You might also want to have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing and give me feedback about what you think. Thanks a lot for watching again and hope to see you next time.